Heavy smoke from wildfires north of the Canadian border reached northern and central Minnesota overnight. It continued to pour in, creating unhealthy, then hazardous air quality. Chris Burns has more. As the smoke traveled south early Tuesday morning, scenes like this in Bemidji could be seen. Air quality would continue to get worse as the day went on. Air quality is determined by two different factors. Our ozone levels, which are released by fuel emissions from cars. They're emitted from uh, processing plants, manufacturing plants. When you add particulate matter, specifically fine particulate matter, which is released by the wildfires. The two factors together affect our air quality. The air quality index, or AQI, is the standard measurement used in the United States. When it gets above 100 and below 150, the air becomes unhealthy for those with pre-existing lung or heart diseases, anyone under 18, or anyone over 65. Studies have shown that it can exacerbate our pulmonary function. So if you're already prone to getting episodes of wheezing or difficulty in breathing, shortness of breath, it can definitely exacerbate that. The American Lung Association compares exposure to poor air quality to a sunburn for our lungs. For people that fall into this category, it doesn't take much exposure to take a toll on their bodies. It's pretty abrupt, actually. Most patients with asthma and COPD will tell you within minutes of increased respiratory rate and exposure to poor air quality that they'll have symptoms. With the AQI rising to unhealthy numbers for the general public, going outside isn't discouraged, but some activities are better done indoors. Exercise and activities that will increase your respiratory rate will increase the amount of poor air that you take in. And studies have shown that it's just better in general for patients to get their exercise indoors, try to minimize their high exertion activities outdoors right now to minimize the symptoms that they get. With it being summertime, lots of Minnesotans have air conditioners in their houses. Unless you have a specific filter on your unit, you might be inviting the unhealthy air into your homes. If they don't have a HEPA filter, um, that outside air will be drawn in and that air inside your house will not necessarily be better. Um, so what I, I would recommend if folks have a HEPA filter to use a HEPA filter that will improve the inside air, you know, make sure your windows are shut up, your doors all are, you know, all sh the house is as closed as, as you can get it and use, go ahead and use that HEPA filter if you have it. Levels rose as high as 305 in Brainerd, which is categorized as hazardous for anyone, while a majority of Minnesota hovers around the unhealthy or very unhealthy measures. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency has issued an air quality alert. It did start earlier today and will continue until Thursday, July 22nd at 6 a.m. in the morning. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.